Hold on real quick. What are we holding um, on to? Are you going to um, use your BTS mask like that for this? Well, I'm assuming so. Because it looks like you're, uh, like, have you know, like the horse when they put the thing on it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should probably take it off. Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. How's it going? You got Lanai and that is Brooke Lee Hi. over there. We got a very special guest today. The show brought to you by Star Advertiser. Uh, bringing you what matters. It's a Hawaii Thing. Viewers can now receive the Star Advertiser's digital full Digitally. access. Digitally. Digitally. Yeah, because yeah. uh, everyone's on their phone, so might as well get it. Go to StarAdvertiser.com. Click and subscribe and use the code. A high thing. That's it. Also, we got to thank Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Federal. Yes. For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Federal. Visit HiFiCU.com. It almost sounds like you're swearing. When also want to say mahalo to Kamehameha, Kamehameha Schools is building communities for a brighter Hi, tomorrow. Mama, Kamehameha. That's okay. good, you know. I went there, yeah. so I have to. I okay. thought you got kicked out of that school. No, that was Punahou. Uh, not Punahou, not I'm sorry. Not about me. How did you get kicked out of Punahou? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, not. our guest today, we've been trying to get her on the show for a little while, but she's very Guilty busy. Meal. Guilty. Very busy. Very busy. Which is good. Yeah. Uh, she played a medical examiner. Yes. Uh, called, well, she plays Dr. Nolan Kunha. Nolan on, uh, or Noilani? Noilani Kunha on Hawaii Five-0. Wow. She's been nominated three times for an Emmy for her musical children's series, High Five. She was an original cast member of Mamma Mia and Miss Saigon. Uh, she Wikipedia produced and created version. the Hawaii Comedy Festival. Uh, she also is in charge of Improv Hawaii, a company dedicated to in, uh, improv in Hawaii. That's why it's so called that. Ladies Hi. and gentlemen, Kimmy B. Kimmy B. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Kimmy. I should, mention, hi. I should mention that the show was nominated three times for a daytime Emmy. No, yes. not myself. I say stick and, with and you. And Sesame Street just, always won because who's going to win against Big Bird? I or say so. stick just with you. I say stick with you. Take it. Take <laughs> it. Stick with you. And, and say your last name, Kimmy, because I always screw it up. Bye. Screw it up. It's okay. Uh, I mess it up too sometimes. It's Balmolero. Balmolero. Yeah, Filipino. it's nine letters. So like lip balm. A lot. Filipino. Yeah, I know. You yeah. should know well, that. Spanish. By the way, I'm sure we had a, an original last name Vas and then it was changed to Balmolero at some Somebody. point. Vasayan. That's, that's the name I have. <laughs> Vasayan, let's be clear. When they came over on the boat and they were taking the, you know, notes, mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah. your name, please. Mm -hmm. They screwed it up because the accent. Uh, Everyone's last name is screwed up. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Hi. your your teeth, beautiful. Your, Dude, your, your thanks. teeth are awesome. They're we gotta get. Watch. Just kidding. <laughs> we got to get you a press <laughs> commercial or something. I was waiting. My I was hair. Like, What's happening? It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, you thought you it's could like do trick. it. It's like trick. This background <laughs> shred down. Pull it down. What a great background. You've been set up for this, huh? You've been doing Zoom Oh my calls gosh, this something. is brand new. So the one, the Hawaii, because the Hawaii Comedy Festival always happens in October. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. once that's POW, like that's my last big event of the year. So then it's been like home makeover for days uh, here. So this is our guest energy. bedroom office and i this is our you know now our zoom background and our um, yeah, just our, my our inspiration wall i guess there's my husband and i on our wedding day Aww. anybody who has a guest room is doing well good for you <laughs> wow good you for said you that the last are you time. are you back uh filming again is it, are you guys uh around? magnum actually just uh just premiered and yeah they're they're in production i'm not as busy there as i am at uh as i was at 50 but yeah they're they're going and so many things are coming here to hawaii it's very exciting i know they got the so doogie hauser movie uh, they doogie got the Kamaloha. Uh, Kamaloha. Kamaloha. Yeah. thank you they got the uh what is the other Kamehameha one has schools csi, CSI hawaii is csi coming. hawaii is coming here yeah. and then you're what making is, that what's up. the other one Ruben? the third one there's Jake like and the Fat Man, I think I heard is coming no. back. No! I'm just what joking. Happened? I'm kidding. That's I'm totally huh? lying. Someone Nobody just bought that. Yet. Someone <laughs> just bought it off of YouTube. Oh, well, that's what's happening? There's a bidding war on Amazon Prime right now. Yeah. I think Jake and the Fat Man's going to be back. I can't what, hear because you're so loud. I'm sorry. Ru Ruben, what's, what's the third show coming? I think it's uh, what's happening la what happened last summer. What happened last summer? Oh, that's right. That's, that's yes. right. Time out. Because it's my, it's my classmate from Punahou. Because it's uh, Amazon. It's Amazon Prime. Oh, before it's Amazon you, Prime. Before you got kicked out. I know what you did <laughs> last summer. Oh, <laughs> are we getting an audition? It's I know what you did last are summer. Are you setting up an audition? it's a remake of the original, which had Jennifer Love Hewitt in it. Yes. Freddie Prince Jr. Yeah, et they cetera, got their et cetera, start on that show, didn't they? A lot of them? I don't think they'd agree with you on that. But Well, it was a big movie. Maybe Freddie Prince. I think, I think she 
was uh, a Buffy. What's her face? She was already. Is it what is it? Party of Five. Is that what that thing was called? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. Buffy. The you nominee. know what? I gotta say, I started doing TV show. No, I didn't start doing it. I did Jake and the Fat Man. I Ooh. did like three or four episodes. Yeah, and I got a check for it like three years ago. Oh wow! Like, yeah, it was like thirty-two cents. I think they where is it, that airing still? Maybe like, in Nigeria. Maybe on, Uzbekistan. on a cruise in Nigeria. Is Uzbekistan. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> on a cruise boat Uzbekistan. somewhere. That's great. Hey, I yeah. checked. Take I checked. It. Yeah. Jake and the Fat Man was awesome. It was a great Which show. Which one was that? With Joe Penny. Yeah. Remember, James Roche from The Brothers was his double. Oh, okay. But he, oh. Had, he had a lot. He played a police Ooh, officer. Oh, some TV on history that. up in here right yeah. now. You know, you know what? I, why I'm confusing yeah. it? I'm confusing it with Richard Rico's show because I thought he was. Oh, he no. He 21 was. Twenty one jumps. Twenty one. No, no. Birds of Paradise. Oh. No, Booker. No. Booker. Oh, Booker. Oh, Booker. Right, 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 right. Yes. That was here. Uh, yeah. Booker no, was, was here. It here? One of them was here. Greco oh. was here, was he not? Am well, we have to up? take a little break. We're going to go no. fact check you. <laughs> the show brought to you by the Star Advertiser, wow. Hawaiian Financial mm-hmm. Federal Credit Union, Federal. and Kamehameha Schools. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii hey. Thing. Brooke Lee and I with uh, Kimmy B. Kimmy B. Kimmy Balmero. Nope. <laughs> Close enough. Say it, say it Kimmy. Balmolero. 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 Oh, that is a good way to say it. Very, very sensual. We'll have a test for him by the end of the show. Balmolero. Yeah. Kimmy, what was the go. first gig? Face. What was the first gig you did uh, and you got paid for it acting? Oh, well, uh, I don't know if it was considered acting, but I was a Woody Woodpecker at an Earth Day <laughs> fair here in Honolulu. I think I was uh, a sophomore in high school. Can you do and the voice? Way- I can. Oh, I'm a little, I'm not as warm, but hmm. Go ahead. Wow. That was good. That's Castle at its finest. Thank you. That is. uh, Everyone under 30 is going, what was that? Um, but I, I got it because I was the only uh, student in my in my drama class at Castle that could fit in the in the um, <laughs> suit. Like I was short Kimmy. enough, and that was actually a dream of mine. I don't know if you guys remember the the Warner Brothers store that used to be at Ala Moana. Yes. And they used to have, yeah, and they used to have like Tweety Bird outside, outside and all the characters, and that was like one of my dream jobs. I was like. When I graduate from high school, I'm gonna be Woody a Woody professional Becker. mascot. I was like, no, I want to be Tweety Bird. Wow. Uh. And you ended up, and you ended up on Broadway instead. See and then the I, world and there other things happen, but maybe things. someday, someday, someday. Oh, bring me up nice. if you're looking for a mascot. <laughs> do you like do you like doing the live shows or like you know theater or do you like the camera? Um, I mean, there there are fun parts of both, um, but I my heart is on stage. You know, that's where I started. Yeah. I started doing musicals that and energy. stuff with Mr. Bright uh, and Kaneohe. Yeah. And I think you just can't beat that feeling, you know what I mean? And uh, of the energy from the audience, the energy when you're doing a show, especially like Mamma Mia, we do eight times a week, right? When you're on Broadway. Yeah. So the little changes that can happen um, with different actors even. So, so yeah, I think that's where, that's where my heart is. But I mean, TV is fun too. You, and you, you make just more find money. different parts to enjoy. So yeah. you make more money. Yeah. Well, it's, you make... it's a bit, a, a bit different. Yes. <laughs> you get a guest room when you start doing TV. <laughs> guest room. Yeah. I should say that my master is the closet, but, uh, and we just call the, the room, the guest yeah. room. Got it. And my Got master it. bedroom is the closet. But are sure, you, yeah. are you, uh, missing the, the lot? Cause when you do, you know, I've done improv before and stand up mm-hmm. and I don't know if I'll ever do it again, but do you miss oh, that you live? <laughs> Do you miss? Well, that, gonna, well it won't you, be the same. Because I'm going to hit you, you for my not, show. It's not going to be. I don't think it's going to be the same like it used to be. You know, because I, I, I mean, not I, for a while. Yeah. But I, do you we miss do that? miss it. It's different. I mean, we've been doing live streams with Improv yeah. Hawaii uh, ever since. It, it, like, we never skipped a beat, actually. We we were doing first Saturday shows in Kaka, Kaka'ako. And then that first Saturday in April, we continued with virtual shows. And, you know, we found a way, but it's it's just not the same, you know, yeah. with uh, people yelling out suggestions yep. and understanding, like, and feeling, you know, feeling us also not really know what we're doing in the moment is a little different. So, yeah. but see, he so needs, yeah, so we're, we're trying to make it work, but it's He needs therapy, though. Like, I think you need to, like, have, like, a one-on-one session with him because he's, like, giving up the ghost because he feels like... The world is in such a place now where he can't do his stand up, he can't do the improv because oh people are too gosh. people are too sensitive. Totally Everybody's judgy. No, I'm I'm ba- so I like, say bad he's things. He's like retiring because he's just no, like I'm not reti- I never, thought, I never thought I was good enough to say I'm gonna retire from something like that. I just 
I did radio for so long that I feel I can't say what I want to say anymore. He needs his Tinkerbell cry. back. Yeah. We need to clap so that he comes back. Oh, you know? I see. I we, see. Believe I mean, we believe in you. We believe in you. We believe in you. I feel you. like yeah. a lot of podcasts do tours now too, right? So like yeah. you take the, the radio Show shows the road, or yeah. TV shows and you put them like at like South by Southwest or something like yeah. that. And they're like yeah. filling arenas and theaters. So oh, we're going to do that. Still do it. I, 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 be- do I, that. I see it. Yeah. I'm not. I just think that, <laughs> I just think that, uh, the ability to say how you feel, you ha- it's like walking on eggshells now. And we like talked that. about this with Ernie Reyes, is you have to build your build to get to that point where you can say what you want to say. It's a headspace, though. Yeah, but I don't know if it's I can not, afford it. Yeah. I'm too old to It's uh, not about to get the to people. It's about where you are comfortable with yourself to be uh, able to say things you want to say and not care what other people think. Hawaii's so small. <laughs> I went on international television. I said I need everything yeah. twice. You don't think that's I think it's, like, a, I think it's intention, yeah. too. You know, I think when people say what they, what they're, what's really on their minds or hearts, yeah. if it's coming from a good place or like right. a, an honest place, I think people react to it differently. I think that's the thing you hear too or you you feel in a live space is oh he's saying this and maybe it's not the cool thing to say but it's honest and real to that person mm-hmm. yeah, so that's so, true because yeah, so that's so, what Chappelle's been doing like Chappelle literally has been ripping down the facade of Hollywood yeah and he like, can that's the difference too though anybody can, he can. That's no I know but he, he, okay he can get away with it it's okay. yeah, and it's acceptable he can get away with it because he's smart you yeah. know he is he is like, very smart and I'm not there's just a way to approach I'm things and again it's coming from a real also make a we believe in you, you Lanai. We believe right? in you. Wait, we got to take a time out. We believe in you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, encouragement. <laughs> Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Kimmy B is hanging out with us today. And we're going to be booking you for a musical for the improv show. I did. Um, yes. I did. I, Kimmy, I don't know if you know this, but I did Grease when Grease came to town. And this I played is not that kind oh. of Vince Fontaine. Well, it's a musical. No, oh, this oh cool. Sang. Oh, this what is a yeah. That's perfect for you. It was perfect for me because I didn't have to yeah. sing. But I can't sing <laughs> no, is the problem. This is, they do he doesn't improv. sing, though, does he? Not in the not, not in, in that show. show. No. no. Yeah. So it was perfect for me. But her improv, they do a musical about your life, and you just go on yeah. and talk about it. And then the the improv group around you make up songs. Like really? Bri- yeah. Bri- you don't have to do anything. You don't. We, you we just have to exist. You, or I just, interview you, and yeah. then we make up scenes and songs based let's off of do your it. interview. When it's do you want? This is gonna be a very Boop short, it. a very short show. But let's do it. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure be, we could do a whole a whole everybody, series probably everybody, on, your, wanna, on your we'll, interview. We'll call it. We were supposed to be. We were supposed to do Brooke Lee Brooke, the musical. Yeah. That, that was our one. March show, and it and, and we had to shut down like pandemic. a few days or a week really? before. Pandemic. I can get you the Manoa Theater too, by the way. Pandemic. My show. I want to call it uh, Take a Nap with Lanai. Nope. And we see how many Love people it. fall I'm asleep. In. Don't want to do that. See how many Not people fall asleep that. halfway through. I my already, story. I already subscribed to that show, so <laughs> <laughs> threw, up, threw up in my mouth a little bit. Nope. Is, uh, so, what else do you want to act on? Is there like one show that you grew up watching or today that you watch and you go, "I want to be on that show"? Oh gosh, there's so many. I think yeah. for me, like, if I were to choose like a dream. Uh, format right now i i just would love a chance at a multi-cam i think Uh, you know we talk about you know live theater and kind of television you know the benefits of doing television and i think that all comes together in a multi-cam so someday when um when we're all back to normal and we can do you know a television show in front of a live studio audience i'd love a chance at that you know did you get did you guys did you guys get to see the reunion uh, for Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Yeah, uh, not HBO, yet, but I read I read a couple oh articles my gosh. about it. Oh gosh, you know, fun. I, I mean, heard and, and juicy. Yeah. I heard stories about their live audience because, right. like, you know, back in the day, all those shows had live audience, but yeah. that mm-hmm. show in particular said was one of the best live audience to be at experiences. Experiences Ooh. to be yeah. at yeah, yeah. because Did they Will say S- why because Will Smith was so entertaining, right? And oh you had, sure. And, and they put on. Oh like right, a, him. I forgot about him. Yeah, and like <laughs> that little, guy. Like a little concert, Jazzy Jeff would mix. You know, in between oh, takes. Oh, there they you would, go. Yeah, so they really kept that energy going. Right, right. But I would have loved to be, because I love live talk shows. Like I've okay. been to mm-hmm. Letterman twenty times. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've David Letterman Jimmy. was like my He's my uh, hero, my dream uh, mentor, I guess, when I was yeah. a kid. Okay, mine too, yeah. mine too. I, that's why I went to so many of his shows. Letterman? I, yeah. I've in New to, York City? Into, into New York, okay. yeah. I would go like five nights in a row. Then you both are going to hate me for this because I was going to be on David Letterman's show and I turned it down because I was too scared of him. Kimmy, you want to come do this oh. podcast with me? 
Like, why would you do? Why would you? Like not? I literally did the Roseland Ballrooms like toured after I won Miss Universe. Did you their, do any other talk show? Their book, their booker was there and he was watching me. He's like, "You need to come on Letterman." I'm like, "Um, he eviscerated the last Miss America oh, that was on." Oh, you, you but you would have been so yes. proud. Of like he hates he beauty queens. Loved you. That's why I'm he not, wanted you. I'm not going to go on that show. He hates beauty. You queens. need therapy. I, I said no. <laughs> I said no. I didn't go no, on. No, but you're a different, a you're a different Miss Universe, especially with, you know, your famous uh, answer. Line, yeah. yeah. I think, I think he, he, you would have had so much fun. It, it'll happen again. No, yeah, for sure. Did, big regret. Did you do any regret. other uh, talk Yeah, I did Keenan Ivey wins. I did oh. Regis and Gabby Lee. I did Oprah. I did all that stuff. Yeah. But he oh, was scared I of. love how you just, I did Oprah, but. I did Oprah, yeah. <laughs> No biggie. Yeah. Just throw yeah. that one at the end. I was I scared. <laughs> I was scared of him. I was scared of him. He was scary to me. Yeah. He didn't like beauty queens. Kimmy, what's your favorite improv game? You know, like when you sit around, like comedians in the green room, we sit around and play these dumb games improv games do you have clubs. one i love anything having to do with rapping <laughs> because i'm terrible at it really uh so yeah so rapping uh i do mostly long form so you know there's short form and long form yeah. short that's form the is toughest like what you game line is it anyway so i'm not yeah. Yeah, very i don't want to say good at short form but it's not my main uh right. jam when we yeah. play but whenever we're warming up like any sort of like anything that makes me look like a fool and that's challenging i like <laughs> If it's easy, then we used to, Augie and I, so, rapping. whenever Wayne Brady came to town, he would come on our show. So we were very lucky to have him like a dozen times, but He's we would amazing. always, we would always rap. He would say, yeah, we would say, before you leave, what do you want to do? And he goes, well, you know what we're doing. And then we would kick in a beat <laughs> and, and Augie and I would write out our rap like Seriously? two days before. Well, yeah, you would write it out? Well, because we didn't tell him. Yeah, yeah. Because we wanted at oh. least... He's getting the secrets we out We wanted now. to look a little decent for the first 30 seconds. You know what I mean? Uh, oh my gosh, that's the fun part. Like, see, this is the thing. This you is have the to Wait, wait, wait. Hold on to that thought. Improv. Hold oh, on wait. to that thought real quick. I'm sorry. We got to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. It's, okay. it's, it's a Hawaii thing. We'll be right back. Paying the bills. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. <laughs> Kimmy B is <laughs> hanging out with us. What are you calling me? Cheater. Oh, because I wrote out my rap? Yeah. But can you well, write out no, a rap? Well, no, you wrote out your improvised rap. That's what we were saying. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Thank you for yeah. specifying. Wait, wait, oh, can, yeah. can, you write out an, can you write out an improvised rap? <laughs> no, because you don't write out an improvised rap. That's no, what can the word you? improvised means. No, I can't rap, but I'm saying you shouldn't <laughs> cheat. <laughs> Wayne no, Brady didn't cheat. It wasn't cheat. a test. Okay. Yeah. So but, but this, what I was going to say is like yeah. my favorite thing about improv is, is making those mistakes yes. and just pushing through because I think that's what our audiences enjoy the most is watching it's us. When you make a mistake yeah. and then try and figure it out, True. you know, or well, talk about something that we don't know. It's, it's, it's so awesome. It's, trust, and I trust, love it. He's a perfectionist. Trust me. We, we didn't do it the whole, because you, it was impossible because he would start yelling out things oh. like he would change it mm. up. Right. So we would start it and then now we were swimming no, but okay. but he that guy is a genius no, so he's like, he's, he's, but he's improv. and he's been doing it for a long time yeah. I mean. well Miranda it's style. really yeah. it's really a muscle that you have to keep flexing and stretching totally. oh a hundred percent yeah I try to do well, it and I I just can't I try to do it with my kids or something and I'm like oh my gosh I'm out of shape with this that's the you best know? that's so much fun <laughs> it is but, I love it but I don't even understand what you're talking about so like so <laughs> for I'm example just with so guys. for example we have these games so you go through the alphabet and you say we're going on a picnic what are you gonna bring Brooke and you gotta start with A and then I'll go to B oh right right Kimmy, we play we that game I love C. that game too the alphabet so, game so, and, but so you each gotta line go like has this. to start off with a letter from the alphabet or in yeah. order these so are if, like if the these are improv games yeah because if you <laughs> you can't take longer than a second or two you gotta take a shot or oh, when, it, oh when, we when, don't, we've never done that yes so when you like i teach you our shows so would be uh, not good probably well, <laughs> well when you when you were doing stand-up you would travel right and you you did nothing all day right you sat in your hotel room and then the show's at six and one at eight and then what, what would you what would you do so you had to sit around and you make up these games oh. when you drive to the next town because we weren't you know it, we had to drive yeah <laughs> We so comedians poor. don't play I Spy; they play improv games. <laughs> we play. We Basically. would play improv games. I remember me and uh, Andy and Augie were driving. We did shows along the West Coast, and we're driving from San Diego to Arizona, and we played Ooh. improv games in the car. With An yeah, because what are you gonna do? Listen to this. Well, I just I, it's a whole other level. Yeah, of, you need to do that next time. Yeah, just, I don't just know like what try, like when you're driving, are. just uh, pick something out or see a sign and then put it. Uh, do it just with say your kids. One line. I'm gonna and Google. include that word in your line. That's Kimmy, all. Kimmy, you know what we do is next time you come up in the studio and we play with Brooke. 
on on, on air. You're gonna oh, have to teach me for what sure. improv game It's hard right now because there's a little delay. You have to be in, in person and the energy. You know what I mean? Uh, no, but okay. yeah, it's definitely different. We try our best, but yeah, it's way better when you're when you're. That's in why person. when she asked me to be in the musical for the improv thing, I was like, mm, I don't know. Bro. I really think Brooke is. I always tell people she's one of the wittiest people that I know. Oh yeah, and, and Sharp, I think she would be awesome funny. at improv. You just haven't done it. I don't even know what you're talking about. Like you guys yeah. are talking about be. games. Hey, like we always have beginner furniture. workshops, and I'm like, they're called super beginner workshops. Let's go. So you want to go? Let's go. You want us to go Kimmy, together? Kimmy, when as, soon, as, as, as soon as we all can be in the same room dangerous. with a lot of people, let's let's all go and let's film this. Yeah, I'm in. I love okay. it. I'm already excited. I'll bring Ruben. Yeah. <laughs> I'm who do you never been more excited? Wipe the <laughs> who do you floor look, with them. Who do you look up to in comedy? In comedy? Oh yeah. my gosh. I mean, I love, you know, anyone. I think I, I love anyone that creates their own opportunities. Mm. Yeah. So like Tina Fey is one. Um, mm. I love, oh my gosh, why is her name uh, Allie escaping Wong. me? Mindy. Yeah. Uh, Kaling. What'd you say? Mindy Kaling? No. Yes, Kaling. yes. Is it Kaling? Who's I that? don't know. That sounds so Filipino. Yeah. Kaling or is, is it Kaling? Oh, is it Kaling? Kaling? <laughs> no. I thought it was Kaling. Is she from Manila? I, I don't know. Who that is. I think it's Kaling. She's Kaling. East um, Indian. But like, or Lynn Manuel. So I think anyone, oh. well, two things. Anyone that creates their own opportunity. Right. Um, and then also anyone um, that's smart. Again, like a lot of, you know, especially like here in Hawaii, you hear all the Filipino jokes yeah, or all yeah, the, uh, yeah. you know, whatever local Ethnic, jokes. And yeah. we can still do that. Those are pretty much timeless. Mm -hmm. But I, I appreciate anyone who's able to put their own twist on it. Like right now, yeah. J.R. de Guzman, who is a Filipino comic. Oh, yes, he's I very he's good. Freaking okay, wait. We've, we've brought if, him out here a couple I'm times. I'm sorry to, to stop you, but if you want to watch the rest of this podcast, you have to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. <gasps> Kimmy, thank you so much Thanks for, for joining us. We got a gift for you from Enjoy so Snacks, all right? Don't forget, wait, we got Wait, it's a contest. Snacks. You have Hurry. to pick. Pick one. Do you want the spicy Salty or sweet? Or sweet. Spicy. Say spicy. Spicy. All right. <laughs> Kimmy B, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Four. Bye. Four. Yeah. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, the long version. All you YouTube subscribers. YouTubes. If you didn't subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, Kimmy is hanging out with us today, and we were talking about improv and who you liked. Uh, as far as comics go, you know who is so underrated and he's one of my favorites. He's you. probably the best talk show host you. guest. No, <laughs> you. and he's probably one of my the most funniest guys ever is you. Norm Macdonald. You guys ever seen? Norm oh, McDonald? yeah, of course. Yeah, Im he's but his great. improv. I don't like he's him. Great. He's so good. Yeah. You don't like him? No, he turns the worst situations into the best. I don't get him <laughs> and I don't get John Riggle. John Riggle. I don't get I either can't of them. Picture him. Who and is I he? think I both get them mixed up a lot of times. So I might be thinking of John Rigo right now. I can't explain it. They're hop they're Hollies. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, oh guys. a white male comic? <laughs> I know who you're thinking about. Got it. Yeah. So few of them. So few. <laughs> Easy for me to pinpoint. Yeah. He lives in uh America. <laughs> Do you oh know, uh, speaking of white male comics, uh, do you, like, I love Bill Burr. Oh, Bill Burr he is, is a genius. one of my favorites. I've, I've known Bill for a while, and I remember what? him starting really? out. I'm sorry, yeah, what did you um, just well, say? This is like back Kimmy. in the day, like he was dating a really good friend of mine. And I remember her asking me like, hey, do you want to, I just started dating this guy and he's doing this comic show. Uh, he does stand up and I was like, oh God. <laughs> he's, a, he's a genius. She's this like, guy. please just come with me to the show. And I'm like, oh. Well, you because I do not like going to stand, like, you unless know. I know them. And right. of course, it's Bill, and he was hilarious. And you know, he's one better. of... He's one of the few guys like like Chappelle that can get away with saying things right now today at this moment. Well, I think there's a I think when you say get away with something again, it's it's a it's a way he approaches it. You no, know, but I he think approaches it in a non just getting away with something or someone presenting it away for to make you think about it. No, but he you know approaches I mean? it in a very slaughter the other anybody he doesn't approach it like Chappelle which is weird to me and other comics have said the same thing nobody like, can do Chappelle. Chappelle I know but the way he approaches it he doesn't approach it like Kimmy says he he like he bashes me too he bashes everybody There's definitely yeah he's definitely gotten especially in his podcast now that he does it more it's definitely yeah. a bit more uh What's the word? Unedited. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> When's the Versus last time like you talked to him? Filtered. His specials before, they would definitely make you... Like, there were things that he said 
that you're like, how is he talking about this right <laughs> yeah. now? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I'm listening and thinking <laughs> he's a, about it. He's you know a, what he's I mean? A genius. He's um, a genius. But yeah, in his open, con- like in his set stand up, different versus his open conversations. Yes. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm, have, yeah. have, when's the last time you've seen him or talked to him? Oh here my comes, gosh! The last here time comes I the ask. Here comes the him, ask. Yeah. I think when he when he was last in town, I I know I saw him. That was a long time ago, and I feel like I texted him when he f- had his first or his. Is he I still guess with your? Child. Is he still years. with? Is he still with your yeah. friend that you were dating? That he was dating at the time? Or is he still with her? Oh no 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 no! Def- definitely. He's a got two kids. Friend. Yeah, yeah. Got married and two kids now. Wait, I'm trying to follow the timeline. He has two so, kids now. Yeah. So your friend was dating him and then mm-hmm. they're no longer together, but you're still friends with him himself. Yeah, I like, think she's still friends with him too. Probably okay. a different uh different adult, relationship. Bro. Whatever, you know what I'm I mean? just <laughs> following the bumps Brooke, and ball. Brooke doesn't like yeah. any of her exes. They're all on their I'm all, basically yeah. like Are a you not mantis? friends with any of your exes? They all died in her in her oh. <laughs> they're, they're all dead. Kind of. <laughs> See? <laughs> I, I know do you for ever a long time. run into them and like like did you date in like any like exes like locally that you see mm-hmm. and you just like go the other way? <laughs> she hi- she hides in the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, that's awful. Just you like grabs I'm... a cereal box and puts it in front of her face. <laughs> right, Kimmy, are you friends with all your exes? I am. I don't have a lot. I think my <laughs> husband is the. Third what, a, what a good answer. Boyfriend. I've I'm friends had. with all of my You know, my exes. husband, you know what's funny is my husband, uh, my boyfriend, my my boyfriend before my husband, we actually took him out to dinner for his 40th this uh, like a few years ago. That's and a little Jason my husband right there. loves so French. him. That's like so thinks French. he's so funny. That's and so I was really? like, French. quit encouraging him. Like he's gonna keep making jokes all night long. And he just my husband thinks he's so funny. He loves wow. him. Really? Do we know him? Uh, no, you don't. Oh, okay. And she's not going to say, so. Yeah. I think, I think <laughs> you probably you, don't know who he is, but I think you he lives stay. in L.A. He's a writer. He's happily uh, married. Married? He has, a, he has a beautiful baby. I know that. Yeah. But yeah, we're still close. I see, Brooke. I think you should st- always remain friends with your exes. You don't nope. have to hang out with them. Nope. But you can be friends. Salt the earth. <laughs> yeah. Salt the earth. Yeah, you need therapy. Yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> he has he has so many exes no, that he has to be friends with them. I do not. Have or he wouldn't yeah. talk to the planet. He's small. He said it himself. He wouldn't Hawaii's talk small. to a female <laughs> on I've the planet. A, I've been so. in a long relationships at a time, so okay. I've always had. You said relationships. <laughs> I mean, no, you I've said never... I've been in a long relationship. <laughs> well, now, if, like if you compare me to Don Ho, then it's totally okay. uh, yeah here and here, totally different. Okay. But um, I have a couple baby mamas. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah. And great kids. Yeah. Lovely, lovely there you kids. Go. And I'm friends with the moms. You have to be. You have to be. You have yeah. to be. Especially until they're 18. But you've also else. evolved. <laughs> Life can be miserable. Counting the days. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's good. You don't have to be besties, but yeah, you got to be, yeah. you got to be cool. For now, the do kids. you, do you ever, uh, I'm sure you've thought of many different uh, shows and stuff to do your own. Uh, do you have anything in the making right now? Here's Is the there pitch. something that you want to do? <laughs> You know, I've been um, actually Amy Hill and I started a writers group, I think, Uh, last year and we were meeting. We started meeting like every week and then, you know, people get busy and schedules like that. So I've been working on this pilot for a while. And I think like this year, um, I'm not and and Brooke knows this. I'm not the type of person that slows down. Like if if something comes up, I'm just like, let's do it. You know what I mean? We can can figure it out. But as everything is kind of settling more and now we know more about how long we're going to be in this space, I've kind of decided like, okay, you know what, maybe it's time for me to to relax a little bit and start working on my own stuff. So, yeah. So, yeah, I've been working on this pilot for a little while and the reason we'll I ask is because he wants to roll. Go. No, no. <laughs> you and I. No, no. I, I you and I. I don't want to roll. What I was going to ask is, there, so there's a sh- movie that just came out called the uh, Lumpia. Oh, Lumpia with a Vengeance. Lumpia with a Vengeance. Vengeance. Lumpia yeah. with a Vengeance. Okay. Yeah. So some, of my, some of my friends are on that show. Yeah. Um, but, Joey. But Joey. Joey Gila. Gila. Yeah. One of my Love really him. good friends. Yes. Yeah. But my point was. The last big Filipino movie that came out was the debut, which mm, was like that's 25 oh, that's right. years ago. Uh, 100 wow. years 20, ago. 25 100. years ago. And I thought... Wait, this, no, you're wrong because Yellow Rose just yes. came out. Okay, I'll take it back. Yes. The last so you need big, to catch up the last a second. big movie mm-hmm. that came, because nobody heard of that one. The Yellow last Rose? Big, yeah. Yellow Rose? Um, it took a lot of awards. It was, the first, it was the first major motion picture School release him. of a Filipino movie. School but him. all Filipinos in it? Yes. 
Well, no. not well, like Leia Salonga. There was like Asians in it. Leia right? Salonga's in it. Um, yeah. The Eva, woman who plays the mom. No, Lizada, who yes. was the uh, original Kim in the reboot of Miss What Saigon. was it about? Thank you. What was it about? It's, it's about. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Brooke. No, no, you know? don't go ahead. Go ahead. It? Tell him. Yeah. No, she yeah. don't know. <laughs> she That's why she's telling you. It's about um, she didn't watch it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The it's end. A, it's yeah. a young Filipino. Well, a girl. It's single mom Filipino Filipino family. The mom gets taken away because she's an illegal immigrant. So was it a drama? Escapes. No, it's and then she heartfelt. she's in Texas. Um, and then she finds herself working at a music uh, venue or bar in Austin, I think and uh connects with uh one of like the local legends music legends and gets to make her own music and kind of finds I've herself it's a really a this is what i love about where where movies or like you know filipino movies or whatever are going right now that we don't have yeah. to always say like like every five seconds go oh by the way we're filipino yeah, <laughs> you know right. what I mean? yeah, yeah. yeah. where yeah. like for her it was just it was a, a story of just separation and dealing with the climate yeah. right she now she wanted and, to be a country and western finding yourself singer. so yeah, yeah. well the yeah. reason i the, okay the reason i bring it up is there hasn't been a, a a movie like the debut i guess it was like more pop culture is what mm -hmm. be the correct way to say it okay and recently i have come across a lot of money in the filipino world to do something like this. So I'm asking you. What How do many you have? pesos? Like a million yeah. pesos. That's a hundred dollars. Yeah, because I would I would like to figure out something where we all sit together in a room and we I go get this money and we do a, a Filipino cast. Uh, sorry Ruben, you can't film this one, but all Filipino workers <laughs> from camera guys to sound guys and we and put something together. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. I'm all about supporting and telling Sorry, our Brooke, stories. I mean, there's just it. so much to be told. No, I can't. And I think um, <laughs> there were a bunch of uh, of stuff uh, this year at HIF. There was another yeah. one, A Girl From Home, that was a, a Filipino movie musical. Oh, cool. Um, How was it? Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but Filipinos no, like can to sing. sing. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a thing. It's kind um, of a thing. Not you. Yeah. And we're but pretty good at it. You kind of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, you so yeah, I'm in, for sure. There's a lot to be, to be done. No, so You can sing. Thank no, you for saying that no. in... On, uh, you know, publicly, so now everybody yeah. knows legally. But now I remember you said <laughs> it's, that thing. It's binding. You were gonna do a project because you no, have I, I, a I lot really of Filipino binding. money. <laughs> yeah. I, I really, I really want to. I, I'm, I've been for some reason over the last oh three God. or four years, I've been coming across people who want to fund these types just of things. It sounds so illegal. But you have it. to have a good script. <laughs> just so sounds so. You wrong. have to have a good script. This yeah. were like if this were in North Hollywood and like you were like Armenian and this is the conversation we were having. Oh, that's we, right. This that's would be true. like yeah. this is be like the next porn that was going to be happening at yeah. like the Deep Valley. Now, if you want to yeah. do that, I can find money for that. No gay yeah. buddy. No gay buddy. Anyway. Uh, a, a musical. Yeah. A musical. <laughs> <laughs> it would all be that same soundtrack. Actually, anyway. it would be with a vengeance if we didn't know that that was a re that was not a porn that might sound like one. How was it? I didn't get just, to see let's it yet. Let's just be yet. clear that it, it wasn't. Oh my God. Did, did you get to watch it? I did. I mean, it was, yeah. I had a lot of friends in it too. So Joey, Joey, uh -huh. and I actually did a, a Filipino movie years ago, um, where he played one of uh, we played Wait, cousins, of course. Is Joey oh, really? Filipino. Yeah. Joey Gila. Joey Gila. He's Filipino. Yeah, we're gonna have him on the podcast. See, was I already... he lying when he was living in Los Angeles? No, and... he's half Filipino, half Mexican. Oh, so he was like leaning yeah. on the Latino before. Well, no, what happened was he got he, he got really big because he did P Diddy's um, uh, Bad Boys of Comedy, right? And he mm. was the only non-black comedian. But he was and leaning And everyone thought in... he was Latino because he doesn't. Because no one knew what Filipino was. Yeah, yet, probably. he does such a good accent. That everybody till today people go, Oh yeah, I met your Mexican friend. Hence I'm saying to you, wait, Joey Gila is Filipino? Because yes, when I met Filipino. him, he was is because he's part Latino. Is well, he not? I think he's more Filipino than anything, but yeah. Yeah. He, I mean Filipino. I think so. From I've Spain. only whenever I've yeah. seen him do his <laughs> stand up, it's always been kind of like leaning on the Filipino side. Yeah. But and he does okay. a really good Chinese accent, like okay. to the T. He'll call he once in a while he'll call me and and uh I don't know, he'll block his number or something. I'm paying attention and he'll talk like Chinese. I block your number all the time. And I'll be like, who is this? And he start. he kept going, give me for like five minutes. Huh. But I won't I hang up because he, so he knows stuff, you know? Oh. Yeah, he's very good. Anyway, yeah. I wish we could talk to you more longer. More longer, for sure. More longer. I could. 
I could talk I, more longer. I went all to day. Lanai High School. I wish we could talk to you more longer. Oh my god, he yeah. did with him. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I mean, like this is this has been so much fun. Yeah. I, let, let's do it again when we when we get together and in write the after. this movie. Wait a minute! Don't you live like across the street? <laughs> in the after times. Don't yeah, you live, I live like across yeah, the street from the studio. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. No, he's in. No. I live. I, I actually again. Um, I am just. Uh, I'm just in the closet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Doesn't <laughs> this live is all anywhere fake. near here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. She's skyping in from well, LA. Well, Kimmy, we have uh, this nice. Yeah, we gave it to her you. already in space and time when yeah. we wrapped Ooh, the other show. Um, I'll take you it. can go to our website. It's a Hawaii thing. Dot com. You can get our T-shirts. You can get our baskets from uh, Enjoy. Uh, there's a, a a salty and what is your sour. Wow. Spicy. And then, <laughs> spicy and then mine is sweet. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry, that was your personality. Wow. <laughs> and then mine is the like sweet. Like how he throws that in at the end, where it's like, like low key. chance Brooke to come back. She's low just like, key. okay, guys, bye. Thanks for watching. Low key you sour. That was, good. Sour. that was what we call improv. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me. We, Kimmy, we we love you and we uh, appreciate oh. everything that you're doing on television. Uh, and we're thank so you proud so much for you. having me. That was so much fun. We'll see you again soon. He's gonna get you yes, the please. Filipino money. Yes, let's meet. Yes, soon. let's get some Filipino money. <laughs> <laughs> it's called pesos. Aloha, Kimmy. Aloha, bye. <laughs> That was awesome. Thank you. Oh my God, this is all on tape. <laughs> Thank you. That was a lot of fun. I, I mean, that flew by. How, what time is it?